Welcome to Redfern Oval. Mavo here. I'm joined by Brendan Talitsky. How are you, mate? Good, Mavo. Yourself? Good to see you, buddy. Not too bad. Now, just talk about what you can see here, mate. I'm just going to make sure that everything's going okay with the with the live stream. It looks like it's using the wrong one. Let me have a look here. Yeah, so the bo a couple of the boys have just come out on the field. Who's, who's, oh, there it is. Captain's run live. I'm just going to bring up the live chat. So you can live chat with us if you're watching this. Um, yeah, there you go. So I've just put the phone down. We've got a live chat thing here. There it is. So, yeah, okay. So there's Isaiah Tass just walked out. Let's zoom in a bit, Brendan. I've got me Bunnaby Water there. Um, there's the man there, Cameron Murray. Yeah, there he is. You know, get much better than him. He's been playing well, hasn't he? Oh, mate, he's a, he's a weapon, Mavo. Yeah. Probably one of the best forwards in the game at the moment. Correct. And I wrote an article for bunniestv.au and he just talked about how he was good in the final series last year and then in the World Cup he was sensational and then he's carried that form into the pre-season and I spoke to JD about it and one of the reasons for that is that he's carried a few injuries into the last few seasons but this year looks like he's raring a go. Could be a big year for a captain. Yeah, definitely, mate. He, he's got one of the quickest play the balls in the game, Cam Murray. He's just um, a lot of the work he does through the middle, mate, is uh, second and none. And what about Cheeks, mate? He's just walked out. Cheek Cam, 117, didn't quite catch it there. 1171, I think it might be. Now, he's a good story. He's come into this team. He's he's beat a couple of good players for that bench spot. Um, and one of them is just walking out there, Daniel Saluka for Fuda. The other one is Jed Cartwright. So it's uh, he's, he's a good story for the club. Yeah, mate, he's been in and around the NRL for a long time. I think he started with Manly, mm. and he um, played quite a bit of footy for the Tigers as well, and he actually beat South with a great try. He scored for the Tigers about four or five years ago. Oh, there you uh, go. I, I, didn't, I didn't like him as much as I do now then in a rabbit's <laughs> training jumper, but yeah. yeah. You've, got a, you've got a good memory for the, uh, for the games, haven't you, mate? You've been to a lot of footy games in your time, haven't you? Yeah, mate, yeah, I love it. I've got a pretty good memory. Obviously, in those earlier years, sort of when we first come back into the comp, you remember the wins even more back then. We've got a few to remember now. So, true, true, yeah, the, true. The mind's getting pretty full. <laughs> so I'm just, yeah, I'm just showing Brendan how it works here. So you've got a bit, of, you've got the chat there. And uh, Nikki Berta said, how, how are you doing, Brendan? You've got it on my phone there too to see the full message. So, um, yeah, welcome, uh, Nick. Yeah, Nikki, I'm, I'm going really well. Thanks for asking, and I hope you're well too. And I was just going to say, the bloke that's just walked out there, Shaq Mitchell, I love the bloke. I'm, I'm sure you do as well. It's been a great story of how he's taken control of his mental health. He's taken control of his, of his waistline and he's loving footy. He loved the All-Stars experience. And it's a good story that he's, we've got two Mitchells in the side. Yeah, mate. And a lot of people probably will, they probably do realise because they've seen him on the field. But he's got a lot of the uh, similar skills to his brother. You know, he's got a ball before the line, he's got really good footwork and he's obviously trim right down mm. and he's in shape for a good crack at NRL footy this year I'd say Yeah so look Liver's out and uh, Liver's one of your favourite players, Saliva Havili and that was really disappointing but it just presents an opportunity for guys like uh, Shaquay Mitchell, here he is over there, I just lost him, sorry about that Yeah well like you were saying Mo, there's plenty of depth in the club, I mean I was pretty shattered that um Harvey is going to be gone for sort of three to four months, but you've got guys like you said, Jed Cartwright, Daniel Saluka for feeder, mm. Cheekham, and the guy we just mentioned, Shaq Mitchell, all mm. waiting in the wings for their opportunity, mate. So there's uh, the club's in a pretty good position at the moment. Oh, it absolutely is, mate. So we'll just keep panning around. There's all the players are starting to come out now. So they tell us 9:30, but we get ready early here on Bunnies TV because we know they come out a bit early. What about Stretch, mate? Campbell Graham. You like his work? Oh, mate, Stretch, he, he is unbelievable. He's probably been one of our most underrated players over the last four or five years. And, um, you know, what about that prelim final last year? He's taken the field with broken ribs, and he just kept putting his hand up to carry that ball all night long, mate. Mm. He uh, really rips in for this club, mate. You can tell he loves playing for us. Tough as they come. Now, another one that I like, he's one of our favourites, is Davey Mawale. A lot of potential... He could become one of the best props in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, big uh, chips and gravy, Davey. Yeah, yeah. he's, uh, he's uh, a weapon too, mate, and obviously a South junior as well. So I love seeing the guys that have come through the local area, you yeah. know, debuting for the club, as I'm sure you do. Exactly, I do. Damien Cook's another one. Went good in the charity shield. He lost his uh, Blues jersey. He lost his Australian jersey. And... 
he'll be determined to try and get that back, I think, this year. Yeah, well, I um, read an article online that Cookie watched all that sort of World Cup and watched the guys like Appy and that and their sort of play in and around the ruck and picked up quite a bit off them. And, you know, he wants to probably grab the mantelpiece as the game's best hooker again. Yeah, so, there you mate, go. he's got plenty to play for this year, Cookie. And look at that. They're mirror, mirroring the captain and captain and Cookie. Captain Cook and Cook. <laughs> um, yeah, so a, a fair player. So, and, and, and who's that out there next to him? That's uh, is that Trail Mid? Has yeah, he got, has he got Trail Mid on his back? Trail Mid on his back. Yep, he has. Well, what are your thoughts on uh, that bloke? Oh, mate, I think honestly, when the club picked up the signing of uh, Trail Mid, very, very similar to Greg Inglis, mate. I think there's sort of a bit of expectation around him possibly helping us win another comp. And uh, I do definitely think that'll happen over the next year or two, mate. I think Latrell Mitchell, he'd be up there as probably one of the top three or four players in the game, if not the game's best player. Yep. And he's an absolute asset to have here in a South jersey. Absolutely. And Dad, Matt, shout out to you. We'd be proud as punch that these two boys are going to go out there in round one and take on the Sharkies. So what are your thoughts on the Sharks game, mate? They're, uh, they're going to be hard to beat, aren't they? Mate, they're a pretty handy side. They've got a really, really good forward pack and good outside backs. But I think, you know, we might have the edge with Nico Hines being out. But then in saying that, you know, it's the NRL. You can't afford to take anyone lightly. Yep. And it's also down in Shark Park. So we're going to have to turn up to play if we want to win that game. Yeah, exactly. Now, I'm, I just focused on JD there. I'm going to speak to him after this. It's press day. And the Rabbitohs has let us talk to the whoever's up for media. And it's obviously always JD on on uh, captain's run day. And I'm going to say to him, talk a little bit about your coaching staff. It's a, it's a fair team he's assembled around him. They bat right down the order, don't they? Yeah, yep. yep. So he's got, obviously, Johnny Morris, you know. Um, Benny Hornby. Benny Hornby. He's got Sam Burgess now. And I can't see Sam out there yet. I might have missed him. But he is, uh, I know that he's having a good influence on the team. Oh, mate, Sammy Burgess, he's uh, a real competitor, mate, and I think he'd be really, really pushing these young forwards along that we've got here. Yep. And, um, you know, even guys like Keon and these guys would be learning plenty off Sam Burgess because, in my opinion, now I'm only... I'll be 34 this year, and I'd rate Sam Burgess the best forward I've seen pull on a South jersey in my lifetime. Yeah, and there's been some good ones too. So, <laughs> shout out to Bob McCarthy and... Uh, John Sattler and a few of the others, but it's, it's hard to compare eras too because it's a even different... the great Even the great DB. Yeah, Darren Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you. And what about Thomas, mate? So Thomas has been playing some great football over the last few years, but he's, it's not going to hurt him that his brother's out there now uh, getting in his ear as well. Yeah, mate, Tommy Burgess, I think he, he's been absolutely terrific over the last probably two seasons. He, well, he's been great for South the whole time he's been here, but I think the last two or three seasons have been have been his best. And, um, yeah, he was enormous for us last year, so hopefully his form continues. And he obviously started quite well in the uh, charity shield there in Mudgee too and got us off to a flyer when he scored that first try there. Absolutely. Now we've got uh, Grandpa Bunny said, Hi, Mavo, keep up the good work. Love the footies back. Go the bunnies. Yeah, so you can comment here in live chat. You can uh, make us a donation. There's a little dollar sign down the bottom right if you if you want to help us out. Um, and also, I'm, like I said, I'm going to speak to JD later. And if you've got any questions that you think might be relevant, I've got a couple written down. But if you any good ones, I'm happy to ask our coach in front of the media. You know, we're going to have our bunnies TV microphone there. You'll see it. We've got some new some new gear. So we're going to sit there alongside channels 9, 10 and whoever else arrives with our Bunnies TV microphone and I'm going to be mic'd up and speaking to our coach after the training today. <clears throat> Let's keep panning around. Uh, Brendo, we like to get a few players featured and I'm just looking at the bloke I've got on the screen there. Oh, that's Richie Kenner. I just thought that was uh, Junior. But he, uh, yeah, Richie's been good for us. He played a bit of good footy last year when he came in. Yeah, mate, Richie Kenner, he was unbelievable. I think his first game in first grade last year was against Newcastle up at Marathon Stadium there in Newcastle, and he scored a hat-trick. Yeah, there you AJ go. was out injured, so he's, uh, yeah, really put his best foot forward in that game, and he was also quite handy um, for us in the prelim final against Penrith. I think he scored a try that night too. 
And speaking of uh, the coaching dream team, that bloke down there I got on camera, he goes all right too. He's got the SG ball and they haven't had a lot of luck so far this year. But um, that player he's got next to him there, Tyrone Munro, is a key uh, bloke that he's taken under his wing as well. Yeah, mate, um, Tyrone's obviously got a fair bit of potential and what a better guy to learn off than, you know, a 300 and I think 336 game premiership winning captain in Johnny Sutton. So, yeah. as you said, we've got a fair bit of um, playing talent on the park, but in the coaching ranks as well, it's yeah. uh, very, very handy also. I just spotted Sammy there. He's got a bit of paper. So, yeah, look, I've said it before. I'll just remind our viewers that we spoke to Hame Sela. He said Sam's bringing a winning mentality. And Keon said that Sam's been talking to him about just bringing that little bit extra aggression in his game. So I just believe that this bloke, who is a legend of not only the, the club but of rugby league, will have a great influence on the team. And that is one of the questions I'm going to ask JD and the presser. That, um, you know, it's just just the vibe that he brings. You know, mm. he, he commands respect and it can only be good for this forward pack and the whole team. Definitely, mate, definitely. He'd be one of the, probably one of the most well-respected figures, definitely at South, if not in the game, mate. Uh, everyone I speak to, even people that, you know, aren't South supporters, have got a lot of respect for Sammy Burgess and the way he plays the game, or did play the game. Another one at the back there I just spotted is I-Tom, Isaac Thompson. And he's Isaac Tuatupa Thompson. I spoke to him the other day. He just included his Tongan name and... He's had a few injury dramas, but look, if he can stay fit, he can be good for us on the right side there, on the wing. Yeah, mate, Isaac Thompson, he's a he's a big body, mate, and he's obviously got a fair bit of pace, and he's quite a good finisher too. And I, obviously, the only reason why he wasn't in the side the back end of last year was due to injury, mate. Otherwise, I think he probably would have been one of the first guys picked. Yeah, absolutely. So him and Stretchy on the right... <laughs> They might upstage our, our lethal left, you know. You never know. It's a, it's a hard act to follow. But, look, it'd be nice if we can attack and hurt sides on both sides of the ruck like that, wouldn't it? Definitely, mate. A strike winger in, in Isaac Thompson and, obviously, AJ on the other side, mate. It's not beyond the realms of possibility that they could score possibly 20 or more tries each this year. Yeah, there you go. So, now, they've blown the whistle. So, what we do here, for those that haven't watched our live captain's run, is we just follow the team for you know until they start the ball work and then jeremy monaghan down there gives us the heads up the south media man so we'll just follow the what they're doing they'll do some warm-up drills so we might only have another you know 10 minutes or so left on the coverage uh, thanks to everyone who's chatting um simeon is it simeon kama said good footage bunnies tv thank you for that thank you for the feedback we love our feedback here we we appreciate that you let us know what you think and we love doing this we're Bunnies TV live and free around the planet and we're brought to you by Daryl Lee and this month we're promoting the chocolate bilbies and 20 cents from each sale goes to the Save the Bilby Fund. So Easter's coming up, they're on special at Woolies at the moment, they're exclusive to Woolies, six bucks each, two dollars off, so jump in there, get in early, get your Easter chocolate for the family and for yourself. Great stuff, they're an Aussie owned. Aussie made product, Daryl Lee making it better since 1927. So we'll go back to the boys here. We'll see who else we can focus on here. Uh, there's Benny Hornby over there. They're all in a row over here. So let's go along the row. Keon, we haven't spoke much about him, but uh, he's uh, he could be in for a big year, maybe even Origin if he if he he was on the verge last year. Yeah, big Keon, mate. Another one of my favourites. Just a real hard running back raw and mate have a look at that haircut on him he's got one of the best haircuts in the game yeah he has yeah he's uh he's got the he's got it tied back and i kick i filmed him kicking a goal last week we've got a few backup goal kickers i've got Isaiah tass kicked the goal on bunnies tv uh during the week so a few a few guys that are like having a shot at goal but latrell's form with the boot has been pretty good too so i don't think you know any of them will be getting a shot in the top grade anytime soon but we'll just focus on the captain there. Like, uh, focus on the captain at the captain's run. And there he is, look, leading the way. Fit as a fiddle. And I spoke to JD about him at the season launch the other night. And he's very confident that you know, if he can stay fit like he has been, his form will continue to just be sensational. Bursting through on the edge. Is there a better sight? <laughs> <laughs> no, mate. Once, 
Obviously, uh, Damien Cook gets out of dummy half, and he's always got Cameron Murray with him, mate. And um, that's a great combination. It is. Okay, so we'll just go along. Who else have we spoken about yet? Um, what about um, young Talos Duncan? Yeah, yeah, there he is. Number nine there. Yeah, is that him there in the black shirt? Yeah, that's him, yeah. mate. I, I think he's a real prospect, mate. He was um, obviously played in that trial game against Manly up in Gosford, and yep. he was really, really impressive, mate. And I'm hoping to see him get a fair few opportunities in first grade over the course of the next season or two. Yep, and I can report that he is a fantastic young kid. He always says hello. We come in the studio and had a chat on our podcast uh, a couple of years ago when we knew he was on the rise. He's got a fair head of hair on him too, uh, young Talis, and he's named after... Gordon Tallis, as we all know, we met him live on TV after the Manly trial, I think it was. And uh, it was just a magic moment there to, to meet a bloke that he's been named after. And he's modelled his game on him too, Brendan. He's, you know, he's tough as hard as they come. And he's had that drilled into him his, basically his whole life. To, you've got to be hard and tough like the big man. Yeah, definitely. That was that was pretty awesome when he when he did meet Big Gordy. He was he was pretty nervous, mate. You could yeah, tell that yeah. Gordy was a hero of his. And as yeah. he said, he sort of... Uh, tried to play just like Gordy throughout his career so far. Yep. So, mate, um, if that's going to be one of your role models, you're going to be a pretty sort of hard and, and pretty decent footballer, I'd say. Yes. Now, me and DB on the show the other day, we went through the whole team, and we'll try and do a little bit of that now. So let's have a look at Isaiah Tass. I just mentioned he kicked the goal from the sideline, so he, can, he got a good boot on him. But the story of him coming into this team and securing that centre spot uh, on the left has is, is been great, hasn't it? Yeah, mate, when he first came into first grade, I, I wasn't too sure if he was going to nail that centre spot down, but, mate, he's a real gun centre for us now. And even in that charity shield, the way he come from the outside in and he hit that hole and he put AJ away and then AJ put Cody away, mate, that was just a brilliant hole run by Isaiah Tass. And, yeah, he's developing into a really handy centre. And he's obviously been noticed by quite a few because he uh, actually played in that Indigenous game also. The yeah. Indigenous also... All-stars at the start of the year. So, mate, plenty of people have got their eye on him. So happy for him and his family. And another one we know, the family, Dad Darren, Mum Dot, young Taffy. Team Taffy, here we are. Now, he's been a bit of the talk of the preseason, how he's improved, how he's come on. And the touches he's had so far in the preseason have been real encouraging. He's got that 14 roll off the bench. So look out to a tiring opposition when young Taffy comes on and starts injecting himself into the game. Yeah, definitely, mate. He'd be very handy, number 14, and he's obviously got quite a good kicking game too. He put a bomb up there in the trial the other week against Manly and chased his own kick and tapped it onto, I think it might have been Richard Kenner for a try. So yep. he's got all the skills, obviously, Taffy to play fullback, you know, and even in the halves and could probably even jump in at hooker also. So, mate, he'll be a very handy number 14. Someone just got a round of applause there. I think it might have been Jai Arrow. I don't know if it's his birthday or something anyway. But there he is, Jai Arrow. We haven't spoken about him. Chaps calls him the Gold Coast bikey. I don't know if you want to call that to his face because he's a tough uh, he's a tough dude. And he's been a, just a, a huge pickup for us since he's come. Him and Keon and, and Cameron, our back three, he just uh, completes the picture for us there in the forward pack. Yeah, mate, and he plays with plenty of aggression too. I mean... Only the other week in the Charity Shield, he come on off the bench and he cut a couple of blokes in two, mate, with some big hits. And Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, obviously, he's come down here from the Gold Coast, but I'm, he's loving his time at South, mate, and he really rips in for us. So, yeah, Jai Arrow, mate, another terrific footballer. Yeah, exactly. So, who haven't we spoken about? What about AJ? Well, that, he goes all right, too. On the left there, he scored, what, did he score 30 tries last year? Let's follow him here. You're looking fit. Um, as long as he gets plenty of ball this year, which I'm sure he will with Cody, Trell, Cookie, Lockie getting him the ball. Could be another big year for our star winger. Yeah, mate, you heard it here first. Lock him in for another 30-plus tries this year. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's not such a bold prediction, but I suppose that's still a lot of tries to score for your team. And if he does do that, we're going to go a long way to go on a deep run into this final series. Yeah, definitely, Mavo. Yeah, let's look for a few more here. We haven't... Uh, there he is, Cody Walker. Just tell me, how would you describe Cody Walker? Brendan? Well, mate, he's like the modern-day Cliff Lyons, mate. He's, uh, some of his ball playing is just absolutely brilliant. And obviously, too, a lot of people don't realise his support play. I think if you, you have a look at Cody Walker, I think he scored about 85 or 90 tries as a 5'8", mm. and he only debuted back in 2016. Yeah. So not only is he out there setting them all up, if there's ever a break, mate, 
Cody's there. Yeah. And he'll score plenty himself also. So he's the complete package, Cody. Yeah, a bit like the old Terry Lamb. Me and Brownie mentioned that the other day. He's a support play is such an instinctive thing. And you just can... Sometimes people take it for granted that you can sniff out a try. But good players put themselves in position to, to score tries just because they're, they're following the play and they're reading the play. Mm, you're right about that, mate. Cody Walker, he's always in and around the ball, mate. And he'll never die on a play. No, that's true. Keep alive, yeah. So... Let's have a look for, um, <coughs> where's young Lockie Ilias? We haven't focused on him yet. I haven't seen him out there. I hope he's all right. But uh, some of our viewers will probably be able to help us there. Um, let's have a look. So it looks like the, the starting, it shouldn't be too hard to find because it looks like the starting side are in the, are in the, the multicolored jerseys. Yep. Um, so he isn't there. So And Taffy is. I don't know if, if, if there's breaking news here on uh, Bunnies TV, but... Uh, You've got the, you've got, or well, maybe it's the 17 over there. Well, here's Taffy's coming back now, so there you go. Um, so I think Jez might be going to tell us to start to, to turn off in a minute. So if we do have to go, thanks for joining us on Bunnies TV live and free. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage. And Brendan, you are more than just a postie from the Central Coast. You, you go all right at this, Kate. Oh, mate, I'll try my best, mate. I don't mind a chat, as you know. Yeah. yeah. So Especially if we're talking see us too, so. Yeah. And as Jai Gray just got the ball there, he's a he's another prospect that's coming back from injury. And so we, I think they let us stick with this because this is just a, a, a warm-up drill where they throw the ball around a bit. And we catch some good stuff here. So there's Talis throwing a good ball out of the right. What about that for a ball? Beautiful. In the left. Yeah, so uh, you've got you to keep possession usually or they turn it over, but they've let him go there. Um, yep, yeah, so and there's, I think that's Tane out there. That's, uh, I think that's... Bit hard to see. There's Talis again. Another nice ball out to the left. Taffy. Taffy. Oh, back turns inside. It inside. Yeah, there you go. Look at that for football. That was brilliant. Try there for Joy Arrow. Sato liked it. He's putting his hands up. So um, we'll, we'll have to turn off in a minute, I'd say. We'll let, let, let the Rabbitohs let us tell, tell us here. The other cameras are still on from the other other ones. So we'll stay with the action here. Josiah Karapani, another exciting prospect. Yeah, mate, he's going to be a really, really handy centre, Josiah. I think we may have seen him in first grade last year, but he was diagnosed with some sort of blood infection. So Correct. it's good to see him back to a full bill of health because he is a very handy outside back. Yes, true. All right, now back to the left there. The good hands from the backups there against the first grade. That's, that's probably a good drill, this. They've got to get their defensive sets going. And Oh, the trail just tried to just kick for the line there. I don't know if it went out in the full, but yeah, so... They might swap over in a minute. Yeah, they will. So the the other team will go and kick out to the... No, they're not swapping yet. No, they've still got the ball. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to watch two things at once. So they've scored there. So they're, they're making them work on their defence. And, uh, yeah, so... Um, I'm not seeing Lockie Ilias out there, mate. Maybe he's getting stretched, strapped or something. No, I can't see him at all. I'm sure that's... Um Obviously, in the eight jersey, the, the black jersey out there, number eight, that's Dean Hawkins, isn't it? Uh, with his hands up in the air there now. Just... Uh, I'm, not sure, I'm not seeing... Oh, now they're swapping over. Yeah, that is... The, that is uh, oh, is that... Oh, Pete Mamazellis, I think that is. Yeah, no, it might be Pete, yep. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know if we're... We've... It's a long way up here, mate. You've got one of the best views in the house. But, yeah, 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 I know. I'm better off looking through the viewfinder who it is, but... Um, so there's... Uh, Kick it out to Keon. So they're letting us stay on with the, with the footage here. Keon gets the ball, turns it inside to Davey. Big Davey. Yep. Cheek him. Nice long ball there. Good hand. the juniors to Tola. Footwork like an outside back there, junior. <laughs> Good quick play. The ball on to Cook. Cook links up. Oh, he goes himself. Oh, just got him. Nah, nah. he's going to score that. The beach sprinter. Yep. Plenty of toe. He's in good nick for a bloke in his late 20s or whatever he's in. <laughs> Had the shirt off at training the other day. Geez, he's, 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 uh, he doesn't miss, you know, ab day. I think you might have flattered him there, Mavo. I think he might have crossed into the 30s. Oh, there you go. So there you go. So oh, good hands there. Just on the left. Yeah, it was brilliant play. Yeah, big Thomas out in the wing. So we'll stick with this live and free on Bunnies TV. Um, we haven't really been able to look at the live chat too much because I'm filming and Brennan's just getting used to what he's doing. But, mate, you've done a good job here. I might even just swing around and put the camera on you once once the we finish the broadcast cause, just so we'll have a quick chat. 
maybe I'll come around and have a chat with you. No worries, mate. Um, yeah, so we'll just summarise what we've seen. So we're just getting a bit more of the vision of the boys here. Now a few of the families will be watching, their loved ones. Sorry if we haven't covered some of the players. Oh, there's a little intercept there by Joe. Joe he's, he's, he's away too. <laughs> That'd be nice to see against the Sharkies. Hopefully, hopefully he has a big game against the Sharks. I'd like to see that. Yeah, definitely, mate. He's uh, he's up for a big game, mate. And he looked pumped for a big season. Yeah, I'm going to Shark Park on Saturday. I, I thought I was buying seats in the in the grandstand, but I'm on the hill, so I'm not a big fan of standing on the hill. But anyway, at least I'll be there, casting my eye over the team. And I think now that's going to be it. No, they're still letting the cameras go, so we'll just keep going until they say no. Yeah, but I think that's about it now. I know Jeremy's going to say something in a minute. Uh, Jeremy Monaghan. Yeah, so I don't want to be filming while they're doing any ball work. We don't want any shark supporters to be seeing this. Seeing this, yep. Yeah, so so that's Jez now coming to let us know. So what we'll do is we might get you to spin around there. There you go. Now I'll, I'll, I'll come around next to you like this. We can see, our, see our, the, the frame on there. Yep. So you go that way a bit. You, you, you just go in that way a bit. Yep. And I'll and, and I'll I'll come in next to you. Maybe we'll maybe we'll just turn the camera around a bit more this way. Yeah. Yeah. So Jeremy just goes. So you go that way. So we'll centre it. All right. So welcome to Bunny's TV, Brendan Talitsky. Hey, you you, go, Mobo. Good mate. So just tell us about your. You've been on the show before. Yep. We've had a chat there, but just tell us your South Sydney story. Um, how you became a South supporter and, and how much you love this club? Oh, well, basically, mate, when I was sort of a young boy, still primary school age, obviously that's when the Rabbitohs were sort of bottom of the ladder. And at that time, I was living with my mother and stepfather and my stepfather was a big St George supporter. But I oh. just wanted to jump on an underdog. Oh, there and, you go. Um, yeah, ever since I jumped on South, um, they've both passed on now, but my grandmother and grandfather were responsible when I was a kid for taking me down to all these games. Oh, and that's what sort of um, really got my passion going for South. Yep. And then sort of later on in life when I started high school and I was sort of in year seven, year eight, that was when we first come back into the comp in 2002. And from that from that year on, basically all the way through to now, I've tried to get to as many home games as I could. And yeah, it sort of shaped me into the supporter that I am now. Yeah, you've spent a lifetime going to games. Some of our old photos we got from Colin Will and former... NRL photographer, you're in them. <laughs> so, you, and you've yeah. got a good recall for some of these games like you did on our live call. Yeah, like I was saying earlier on the show, I mean, back then the, the wins were sort of few and far between. So I've got some really good memories of wins back in that era because you, you obviously didn't see too many. And yeah, they were, they were great days going down to those games. And yeah, some of those players, you know, I'd, I'd love to buy a beer for now because it was, yeah. it was hard yards back then playing for South, but all those guys ripped in. And, um, yeah, it was really good days going down and following South in that time. I won't keep you for too long because you've come to watch the, the team train and they're training now, so we'll, we'll, we'll let it go. But we just want to mention some of the people that have jumped on. Karina Hazer, all the way from Germany, in the middle of the night there, she gets up and does that. And Paul Cullen, channel member. So you can become a member of this channel and you get exclusive content behind the scenes. So just remember that. Um, yeah, we'll let you go. Thanks for joining us on Bunnies TV live and free, and let's beat these Sharkies on Saturday night. Oh, definitely, mate. Rabbit's 13 plus. Thanks like, for the... like your daughter said, and that little... Oh, yeah, mate. She loves it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she had no other choice, did she? No, no, definitely not. <laughs>